Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We'll be looking at past and present energies for you regarding love and relationships. And also we'll look at what's challenging or blocking love or a specific connection and where all of this is headed as well as a little glimpse into the person that you are dealing with. So let's jump right in for Pisces, Spirit Angels Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Pisces regarding love? For Pisces. I need to know for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Any insight? Guidance for Pisces, please. Insight guidance for Pisces. Let's start with the recent past. What are the recent past energies for Pisces? Recent past energies for Pisces. The hangman, stagnancy, looking at things from a different angle, realizing things or looking at something from a different viewpoint, a different perspective, gaining new perspective, um, but this could also be that someone is doing a lot of thinking and reflecting, but not a lot of action or communicating, right? Like they're not really doing anything really, but hanging around and seeing things differently. Maybe you're realizing something about a past connection or a current person, like partner or person that you're thinking about. Tell me about the recent past for Pisces. Recent past energies for Pisces. Wow, the Five of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you're looking at a problem, conflict, someone's deception, someone's treatment of you, of you in a different light. Um, maybe there was a past conflict with a specific person and you didn't really understand it back then the way that you do now. Or maybe you're seeing someone clearly for the very first time, you know, it's like maybe you were giving them a lot of slack, but now that you're older or more mature or have a healthier way of thinking or have done some self care, some work, inner work, maybe now you're realizing like, hey, that was messed up. <laughs> that was not supposed to be that type of relationship or that was not a healthy dynamic. Some of you are realizing that you were misled. You were deliberately lied to. And you didn't really get the full picture back then, but you are now. And then a whole other group of you, I, I almost get the sense that something isn't happening. Like maybe you met someone that you thought, okay, this is a good person for me. And then like the relationship has not progressed. And it's almost like you're thinking, am I getting played? <laughs> like what's going on here? What's the present energy for Pisces? Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Wow, Queen of Cups with the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords. Well, the, oh, okay, so when I'm, okay. Oh, I'm getting a lot of messages from here. I heard powerful. I heard powerful with these two cards. I'm sensing a lot of energy here. Your intuition is extremely strong. There's a depth here. You're figuring something out and it's your intuition guiding you through this murkiness. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So maybe this intuition led you to an ending of some sort, the ending of a cycle, the ending of a relationship, or you are realizing something about an ending or the end of a cycle in a different way, in a deeper way. I, you know, more, you know, for some reason though, I'm getting like powerful, like almost like psychic energy, like a, like a, like a psychic intuition. Um, so Pisces, I don't know if maybe recently something has just like, maybe you heard something and it like lit something within you and you're like, wait a second. It was like an, a, a eureka moment, an epiphany that you had, but I'm getting like spiritual epiphany. It's almost like 
you scared yourself with what you realized or you understood, you know? Some of you, your instinct was dead on. And it was like almost scary how dead on it was. It wasn't fun, but you were right. What's the challenge for you? What's the challenge or issue, obstacle for Pisces? Challenge issues or obstacles for Pisces? It's the challenge or obstacle for Pisces. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune, holy crap. The Wheel of Fortune in a challenge position. Let me get one more. What's the challenge for Pisces? It's a challenge. For Pisces, a challenge. Wow, the Seven of Wands. Okay, Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So when I see a card like the Wheel of Fortune, a card that's supposed to be like a good card, quote unquote, and it's in a challenge position, I instantly think that this is being challenged or blocked for you. So there might be something here that's destined, faded, or maybe instead of feeling lucky, you feel like you've been dealt a bad hand. You feel very unlucky, like unfortunate things have happened rather than fortunate events has been a series of unfortunate events for you. But the wheel is always turning. There's always changes ahead. Nothing remains the same. And then I have the seven of wands. So I'm almost getting like, you've had to like fight. Maybe you're tired, exhausted of having to always deal with the bad and shitty stuff that's been like coming your way. Some of you have been blocking an opportunity for yourself as well. Um, this could be resisting an opportunity that's meant for you or resisting something that's meant for you as well. You can also interpret it in that way. Let's let's get some energies down here. Some energy oracles. This is the second edition of the Stellar Energy Oracle deck. It's not available just yet. The back design is changing, but the front design is pretty much done. So when it's ready, I will announce it like I do all my decks. All right, so tell me what's the overall energy for Pisces in love for October. Okay, I got these two. Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. Okay, so there's definitely an ending here. Ten of Swords. And then restoring balance, resolution, harmony, stability. But I feel like it's not, I don't know, it's almost like, yes, something was difficult, a difficult ending, but there's still an opportunity for balance, resolution, Someone could be wanting to uh, heal a separation, heal a divide as well. I see that. What else? Let's get an Ever After Oracle. This is available now in my shop. It's linked down in the description box. What's the overall energy for Pisces in love? Some of you have to just be healing from a heartbreak as well. And that's like bringing in something new, Pisces. Let me know if any of this is resonating for you both, um, for you guys down in the comments. What's the overall energy for Pisces in love? Wow, we have Goblin, Trickster, Untrustworthy, Avoidant. This is reminding me of that Five of Swords. I'm gonna put them right next to the Five of Swords here. There's someone that you couldn't trust, someone that didn't treat you right, someone that's avoiding the real issue. What else? We'll see overall energy for Pisces in love. Overall energy for Pisces in love. The horse, action, m motivation, and energy. So someone taking action, someone motivated. Okay. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have first dance, getting to know each other. So I get the sense, I get a few things here, Pisces. Some of you, I feel like there's a past person that wants to fix this issue between you. I do, I do sense that. Others of you, I feel like you're making moves in love after a difficult ending. Like there's something coming in and you're getting to know someone. 
And it could be that you are in a situation where both of those scenarios fit. You're meeting someone new and that makes your ex come back out of the woodwork, right? So let's look at this person that you're dealing with. What is the energy spirit for this other person, this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with? What's the overall energy here for this individual that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with? The Ace of Swords, communication, truth. Oh my God, the Seven of Swords. What is going on? The Five of Swords came out. Goblin came out. Even this, the high priestess, sometimes she can um, talk about what's hidden secrets. And then the seven of swords. Some of you straight up, you were lied to. They just straight up lied. And I feel like this person, if they did lie to you, I feel like they want to come clean. The ace of swords, the seven of swords. Maybe they got caught lying. And now it's like they want to address that. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords spirit. For Pisces. Wow, the Empress. And then the Ten of Wands again. Pisces. I feel like this person is going to tell you that they recognize that they were wrong. You know what the issue is here, Pisces? <laughs> I'm getting so many messages, but this is one that I want to focus on. You, they underestimated you. Full stop. They underestimated you because you are an empress. You have this power to you. And you figured something out that you weren't supposed to know about. Please let me know if this is resonating in the comments. Because I feel like you found out something that you were never... It's like you were never meant to find out. But you did. Let's get some PS I love yous for this person. This is also available in my shop. All right, tell me more about this person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Pisces? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about their energies towards Pisces? There is so much I have to tell you. Well, no crap. I mean, but really, like... Is it even worth telling you, Pisces? Because you already know. I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Let's get this one too, because it kind of wants to come out. I never meant to hurt you. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm telling you, Pisces, this is very clear energy. I mean, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Regretting the past. This is someone that I feel you, what's the word that I want to use? It's like you caught them red-handed, you beat them at their own game. That's, like, that's the energy I'm picking up here. They underestimated you and it cost them. And I feel like now they want to talk. And this does not necessarily have to be a romantic partner. This could be a friend, a family member, an ex-partner. So what's the potential outcome here? What's the possible outcome here for Pisces? What's the possible outcome here for Pisces in the near future, Spirit? In the near future. Wow, the magician. Power. Once again, power. Someone wants something. I feel it's this person. What's the possible outcome here for Pisces? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's, there's communication coming in, Pisces, with the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 
and the Eight of Wands. There's an apology coming your way. And I don't know, did you have a reading like this recently? Pisces. No, it was something about a choice. And then the reading before that, we need to talk. I'm afraid to contact you, but trying to be brave. Yeah, so I feel like this is a continuation from that. I feel like this is somebody that has an apology to like bring to you. They're regretting the past. They they want to tell you they never meant to hurt you. Um, because I feel like whatever this was, it was pretty big. It was a pretty big lie. It, you know, it's like, I don't know, but you beat them at their own game. Let me tell you that much. And I feel like for a lot of you Pisces, let's say that's resonating for you that, you know, there's a past person coming back to, to ask for forgiveness, you know, you don't have to forgive. I mean, you could forgive them, but not take them back. You could refuse to forgive them. I feel like for a long time, without you meaning to, this person had like a hold on your energy because they hurt you so badly that I think that there was an energetic hold, um, a stagnancy for you. Because I think for some of you, you just didn't understand why this had to happen. And maybe you were asking why a lot or wondering, you know, what you did to deserve this type of treatment. Um, but I feel like most of you have done some inner healing or are just learning with time that you did not deserve that, that it wasn't your fault, that nobody deserves to be treated that way, that you are powerful, intuitive and worth of respect. And I feel like this person is realizing that they messed with the wrong person. They messed with the wrong person because I don't know. It's like you were never meant is they underestimated you and now they want to come back. You know, let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. Um, thank you so much for watching Pisces. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching Pisces and hopefully I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.